Okay, we just checked into our Airbnb. In light of the recent devastation with the Italian earthquake, I just want to say a few words. It's crazy when you hear the news with things happening within your vicinity that greatly affects the community you're in. And whenever I experience something like this, I feel like the best thing I can do is just to be appreciative of how fortunate we are that it didn't happen to us. And just, and just appreciate everything around us even more. We were at a live active volcano just yesterday and if circumstances were different, that the earthquake could have easily affected. But with that said, there's really no use to live in fear because it's something you cannot control. To fear not doing or not living the way you want to live because something like this may happen is to essentially just give up on life. I'm here right now, I'm still going through everything that's exciting, but my heart does go out to the people affected by this devastation. And with that said, I hope you too learn to let go and just live the way you're meant to live. And now, back to our regular vlogs. So the last 24 hours has been pretty freaking epic. Can I say freaking? <laughs> you can say freaking. Okay. So much has happened in the last 24 hours that didn't go, we didn't plan for. So we got up at five. Talking in your sleep. You can't deny your world won't fade away. So the flight wasn't long. It was only like 45 minutes. But it was the one flight I think that we really wanted to have a sleep on and 45 minutes. As you know, lay up. But you don't know why this trip you try is something you don't. And then the next train, which we had to wait an hour for, was a bit longer because it's kind of like a not a rural train, but it wasn't one of the metro trains. Yeah. Hello, child. Yes. All right. Yes, arrival. <laughs> Airbnb. We got settled in and that's when things sort of struck a different chord. So part of the awesome thing about this trip is kind of going with the flow. No schedules, no having to pre-plan everything and just kind of letting the city take us. Uh, but one of the downfalls as well, <laughs> as we've learned today, is that when you do no research, you're left stranded in a town with no public transport and no um, no real option for anything. It took me another hour and a half to get back to the airport, another hour to wait in line, and then another hour to get back. So it took me four hours of my day yesterday after getting up at 5 a.m. to pick up our car. I did not go with Tish because I needed to do edits so that you guys can watch the last episode. <laughs> so, you know, you guys got to enjoy the last episode. Then this episode, you figure it out. Yes, Tish had to get all that done. So, no, um, he was unforgiving. It's, it's, it's a, it's a sympathy pack. Pass for today, we took our sweet time. We got up, had breakfast, had lunch, and then made our way to Polignano. Amare. Amare. As we're walking through town to find the beach, we came upon this bridge that looked over this beautiful beach and World Cliff Diving Series happens here at Polinano Amare. And we could see everything from where we were. 
to. Adam really, really wanted to cliff dive. This was the point where I, I looked over, I was like, man, this would be such a tick off the bucket list to just be on that platform and just jump off. Is this where the cliff dives in? I'm sorry. No? no. But this is where they are at. Yes. Yes. All right. You can find places to go cliff diving if you want. Oh, that this is no freaking extreme though. No, but we can't. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, you can't. he can it's a competition we didn't know that we, we weren't sure right there were people just jumping no, we were sure. it, there was no competition it was just like sort of freestyle we jumping today. yes there was competition but today there was no like actual official competition Stop. that's our day so far now we're here and just enjoying the scenic town of Polignano Amare <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well, not this, but it was a sliding thing, so I was like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thankfully you didn't hurt yourself. It's Adam Tambaka. I can, I can do the car. Yeah, like, cool. Yeah, because I do the same that I do on YouTube Facebook. Are you guys just traveling through? Yeah, um, we're traveling around. We both travel. Yeah, we're both traveling. <laughs> so he's doing a time lapse right now. Sorry? This kind of stuff I'm doing. But yeah. Just of us just sitting here. Maybe I'll set up right next to him. It's gonna meet you. See you later. Gotcha. Bye. See ya. What's your name? Nas. Nas. We'll catch you soon, Nas. Catch ya. See ya. We met them, had a chat, introduced ourselves, shared our life stories, and yeah, these are the moments we live for, right? Yep. That's totally it. So today we're spending the day at the beach. This is um, Lido Otagono. It is absolutely stunning. Another place to just chill out for the afternoon and enjoy. have any salad it's just bread and octopus but the octopus is so juicy that it doesn't need anything else I think I might get another one <laughs> cake, so with the cliff diving yesterday even though I couldn't do it today today I found this let's go try it out After meeting these guys yesterday, Hi, people. they made their way here to join us at the beach. And it's pretty cool to meet travelers sort of doing the same thing you're doing as well. And, very um, cool, very cool. Super cool. This is Naz. Hello. And this is Aline. Aline. And we're gonna go grab dinner together in a bit. It's gonna be good. Be in the background. What's going on? Okay. Cool. That's this super cool. Yeah. I'm gonna leave my camera here. I'm gonna die. That was from the slip. <laughs> no, Mr. Drama Queen here. <laughs> Don't try to cater to the throne. We're gonna go to Bari. We are? Yeah. yeah, because they left their stuff in Bari. We forgot. How did you <laughs> like totally forget? I, I don't know. Oh my god. god. Like, all our stuff is there. Oh my god. And I was about to go to some random town and sleep there. I know. <laughs> Alright, that was a quick pit stop. Now we're back on the road. Let's get going. And all the times you forget. Uh, 
Oh man, this is really far from our place and we need to get going because the Airbnb guy is waiting for us. This isn't goodbye. This is see you later. So, that was from Naz from earlier today. We're here now in Bari where we're meant to meet up with Naz, Elaine and along the way we got split up and he just sent me that text and that's it. We're not going to see him again but it was good to have that moment to bump into him and um, that's what it is. It is what it is, right? You travel, just go with the flow and if you don't meet up, you don't meet up but when you're there in the moment, that's what counts. Lovely meeting you. Ciao. Ciao. Road trip starts now. Today I'm wasting it all until I get a new drone because for the next five days we'll be road tripping around the beautiful southern Italy.